guys, Star here from Dyer's Den and today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Now I call this a multi-tiered step card. I don't know what else you could call it. And it is 6 inches high and it is only 4 inches wide but it folds flat like so so it will fit into a 6x6 envelope. So yeah, 6x6 six six, beautifully. As long as we don't go past one side or the other you know like this is okay anything out here as long as it doesn't go past the six inch mark and on this side nothing goes past this six inch mark it will all fit in there beautifully so I'm going to show you how I made this card I love it I think it's gorgeous I made my first one for Frances for her Christmas uh, Christmas time and it's really quite easy so in, you do your writing on the back, so it's um, really, really a lovely card. So I'm going to do it using the new Brood For You out of the new catalogue, and which comes with the dies, which I have here. And I've already cut out all my bits and pieces, so this comes with the dies for this set, for the lovely thing. So I'm doing this one and I've cut out, stamped and already stamped and cut out three bottles, three, uh, two mugs and two glasses. So we're, we're only going to do a tiny bit of stamping, the most of it I've done already and I've actually put a lot of the pieces together because there is a lot of repetition and a lot of steps. Uh, sticking things together because there's actually quite a lot of pieces as you can see there's quite a, a lot of pieces so we'll start with the main piece of card which measures eight by six now i've actually marked this one already but i will go through that with you for the back and the front of the card like so this piece and the piece on the back you will need uh, two pieces that measure Ah, uh, let me see. Five and three quarters by three and three quarters, and then a white piece and DSP piece that measure five and a half by three and a half. Now I've already stuck that one on there so that we can save a little bit of time. Then for your tiers, all your tiers, I'll we'll turn this over. You're going to need one tier that measures. Well, they all measure five inches, so they're five inches by three, uh, four and seven eighths. Um, and then I'll tell you the next one. Let's pop that in there a minute. The next one is five inches by three and seven eighths. The next one is five by two and seven eighths, and the last one is five by two. With the DSP, um, with your layers, you'll need a layer that measures. Four and five eighths. Oops, sorry. Four and five eighths by three and three quarters, and four and three eighths by three and a half. The next one will be three and three eighths. Three and five eighths by three and three quarters. I think I've got that the wrong way around, but never mind. And three and three eighths by three and a half, which I've already stuck those ones together again because we're going to save a bit of time. The next one is three and five eighths. No, it's not. It's two and five eighths, sorry, by three and a quarter. And the, the DSP layer is two and three eighths by three and a half. And the last one is one and three quarters by three and three quarters and one and a half by three and a half. Okay, then we need two pieces for our side pieces, which is down the sides here. And we need two pieces of card that measure one and three quarters by five and a half. And two pieces of designer series paper that measure one and a half by five. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do all our scoring first and work our way through. So, we're going to bring in our scoreboard. And we're going to score our main piece. Oh, excuse me. My belly's in the way today. We're going to score our main piece using our scoring tool. And remember, because we're scoring on card, we only want it on this, the 
small knob, not the larger one. And we're going to score this at two inches. And at six inches. And then all of our tiers, which I've already done, you're going to score every one of these tiers at half an inch and four and a half. So that's the five and five by four and seven eighths, five by three and seven eighths, five by two and seven eighths, and five by two inches. All are scored at half and four and a half. So we've done all of that. So let's move the scoreboard out of the way because before we score, we um, actually. Uh, Put the card together we need to mark the front of the card so we're going to mark this one i'll put a t here as you can see so we're going to put a t on the front of our card and then we're going to measure up from the bottom and i've done all the measuring so i won't need to use my pencil because i didn't bring it with me either up from the bottom two inches and pop up a little mark and again on the other side up from the bottom at the two inch mark and put a little mark once we've done that we are then going to bring in our cutting board and we're going to, to pop that little mark there into the trimmer and up to the score line at the top and we're going to cut that piece off like so and then we're going to do exactly the same the opposite way around so we're going to do from that mark on that side up to the score line here on this side when we close it we can make sure we've got that right in the right place and we're going to chop that piece off as well so that's our pieces that we've chopped off of that so i'm going to just go and get my rubber eraser And we're going to just remove the rest of that mark on those sides because we've done our bit now on that one so now what we can actually do is we can actually fold and burnish this so we're going to fold and burnish this over on both sides now if you're like me and you can see that you haven't gone right up into that top corner, you've just gone just past it, that's not going to be a problem. So while we've, got, while we've done that, we can now pop our piece onto the inside. This is our inside piece, which was the five, uh, sorry, five and three quarters by three and three quarters and five and a half by three and a half. So that's our piece that goes in there. And we've marked that at the top because we needed to mark that so that our when we did our marks we make sure that they were out of the way so we're going to now glue this bit onto here like so now I'm going to do these outside bits next because this gives me more stability for the rest of the card so with our side pieces, which we have here, oh, let's pop that out of the way. We have two pieces, as I said before, that measure one and three quarters by five and a half, and two pieces that measure one and a half by five. What I've done, I've actually, and I went and got the pencil when I got the eraser. I'll just pop the glue, the pin in my glue because the funny old day today. I have marked these with a B for the back. So we know that they that is the front of the, the piece that we're using. So I'm going to pop these two pieces together and I have marked them and I've done exactly the same with these. These are these pieces are not so bad because they're only one piece. Um, we need to mark them down on one side at one and seven eighths of an inch. Let's move that out of the way. Pop those in the bin. I have a bit more room. One and seven eighths of an inch. So 
that's just there and the same on this one which I've also done which is the one and seven eighth mark just there and what we're going to do then is we're going to cut those so let's move that out of the way and we'll bring back in our trimmer and we're going to trim these from that mark up to the to, so on the this corner which is the right hand corner up to the left hand corner why did that come out okay dokey let me see that i've got that in the right spot i can't even see it up there now let me turn my glasses off i might be able to see better nope it's not working can't see a thing okay that's better and we're going to pop that piece off like so my other blade has gone on the floor my scoring blade I'm going to do exactly the same with the other piece like so and then we can actually rub those marks off of those ones as well ah, there we go and they're going to go onto the side of our card like this so we're going to do our other pieces but because if you have designer paper that is one-sided or has a different pattern on the opposite side you need to mark the side that is the back pop that the right way the back um, so that you know that the two, that they have to face outwards if we face them outwards we are in trouble now if you've got a directional paper which I don't again you would need to make sure that you have your direction on these the correct way up and we have marked these at one and three quarter inches up and we've got our two backs together so like our two fronts together so we've got our B showing there and there and we have a line I've drawn it on both of them so that I know that if I had directional paper that they would be the right way so I'm going to pop the two together and I'm going to pop them into my trimmer and I'm going to put that in there up to that top corner there let's make sure they're nice and straight okay and once I'm happy with that which I'm not because I've just moved it that was a bit dumb wasn't it I will cut that off like so and once again I'll just then well I don't need to rub that off because that's on the back of them so now I have my two pieces that are one for each side so let's move this out of the way and let's move my cutting um, I don't know why, oh way over there good job we don't need that so now we're going to glue these together so this one will glue onto this one and that one onto there So by putting your two fronts together, you will make sure that you get your designs the same on both sides, unless you want them differently on both sides. Come on, get on there. I know I'm having trouble getting this on there straight. My, I've got the hand wobbles of, of just a bit lately too high up let's start from that end and work our way up the paper that's better okay we've got that one on let's pop the other one on and once again I'll start at the bottom worked our way up and there's our two pieces and so we pop them on the sides on the outsides we want them on the outside not the inside so that I can actually see that mark so I'm just going to rub that mark off make sure if I can see that one or not no it's on the other side so we're going to pop them onto the, the sides of our card like so 
Now I know this card looks daunting because of the layers and everything, but I'll assure you that it actually does go together really, really nicely. And it's just a matter of getting that piece, these side bits correct first up. They are actually probably not the hardest, but well, they are the hardest part of doing the card, but they are the most fiddliest part of it. And we have those on the side like so. Okay, so now we have our card sitting here like this and we have our first tier and we're going to fold then burnish these score lines on the sides. I'll do them each one at a time as we go. Pop our layers on so our, our card is going to sit with our mountain folds and we're going to pop our designer series paper onto our layer and again if you've got direction make sure you get your direction correct and then we're going to pop that one onto there like so and we're going to do that with all of our layers so we're going to pop we're going to add all of our half inch marks we are then going to then pop our piece into the middle here sliding up the table and our lucky last one which I haven't stuck together at all so this would be the five inches and and I hadn't even scored this one my goodness so let's bring this one in and score this one with you so they're all scored the same because they're all five inches wide and it's scored at a half an inch and four and a half inches remembering that the three and three quarter inch on your piece of the first piece is the width on all of them Oops. So we'll pop this one together and our other piece which is three and a half inches wide. The worst one for remembering which way around it goes is actually the one that is three and th five eighths by three and three quarters. That is the, this one here, which is the hardest one to put together, believe it or not. Because you've got to make sure you've got it all around the right way. So, we've got all our tiers all ready now. We're going to start with our largest one. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop some glue down the left hand side. Now, in my case, it doesn't matter which way up I put this because I have no direction on my paper. But we're going to pop on this one edge we're going to pop the glue on the left hand side and we're going to pop this up and bring this to the edge of there making sure that it is even with the bottom of the card as the same once you're happy with that and you know that it's going to be level you're then going to push that across over on top of the card like so so that when you bring it up it will now be sitting right there and right on that line there so now we're going to pop that down straight like that 
I'm going to bring in the next one and once again I'm going to put glue onto the left hand side tab and we're going to lay this down on top of this one now like so and then well actually we're actually better to hold it up lay that one on top of there and then we are going to make sure that it is lined up at the bottom along the bottom still and we're going to push that down on top of there like so and you'll find that that one's now sitting in there exactly the same we're going to do exactly the same with the next one so along the left hand side again we're going to pop our glue and line that up flat pop, making sure that it's flat along that edge and along the bottom edge and push that down into it like so oh that's a bit of dirt and that's that one and then the lucky last one which will go in here and once again on the left hand side lay it flat against that off that side edge and across the bottom bringing it down nice and flush you will notice that that score line matches up with the edge of the card right there then and you have all of those sitting in there all scored and on one side now what we do is we turn that this way we push it all the way to the left so that you can see all of these tabs on the right hand side and then we're going to just pop glue onto the let's get a bit of that rubbish off the glue pin glue onto the tabs on all onto the right hand side of the card so every one of those tabs making sure we don't go over the score line otherwise it will stick to the card and once we've done that we can then see that that's still lined up nicely along the bottom we're going to fold the right hand side over on top and again you will notice that that fold is right along the edge of that card and we have our main card let me put the glue pin, the pin in the glue for a moment I oh, can't see a thing without my glasses on there you go so that's our main card now how easy was that it really wasn't that hard and as long as you've got them all flat along the bottom this is going to sit up really nicely so we're going to start next by doing our back panel which is our writing panel let me pop the card out the way for a moment and I have some these two pieces which measure five and three quarters by three and three quarters and five and a half by three and a half and I'm going to stamp using early espresso and I'm going to stamp the words I owe you one or several oh, that looks good and then I'm going to actually I've got some memento here. Let me move my ruler so I don't knock it down on top of everybody. And I'm going to just going to pop this wine glass down in the bottom corner here. <laughs> there we go. There's a bit of dust floating around in here today. And then I've got Merry Merlot just to put the wine in the wine glass. So I've got this Mary Merlot and I'll bring that down and pop the wine into the wine glass just here. That looks just about perfect. Pop that out of the way and then we can glue these two pieces together. Oops. Now the first one I made of these I actually did as a Christmas card so you can see that it is great for Christmas um, get well birthdays anything and it's just a little bit different than a regular card so that's 
our writing panel to go on the back of our card. So let's glue that onto the back. I'll pop the pin in the glue because I don't think we're going to need any more glue. So we lay that down flat, pop our panel on the back. And there's our writing panel for the back of the card. Now we have come back to the front of the card. Now I have all my bits here. So I'm actually going to glue this same down. I should have glued that first. I already did my, my little same for the front of the card. Which says, another round for your birthday. So... And that was the only bit, the other, other bit that needed to be thinned down. So I've got a couple of dimensions here that I'm going to pop onto the back of this piece. And I'm going to pop this piece ooh, all the way down the bottom here. Like so. Let's see if I've got that straight. I haven't got that straight. My eyes and my... I'm just not with it today. There we go, that's better. Nice and straight now. And then I have, as I say, I've cut out two tankards, two wine glasses and three bottles, which I'm going to pop on the shelves up here. Now, we need to make sure that we don't put anything that goes above this height because otherwise it won't fit in to a regular 6x6 six six envelope. So we're going to pop a couple of dimensions onto the back of this one. I'm going to put them close together down the bottom here. Get off. And I think I'm going to pop that one on this shelf here so that it looks like he's sitting on that one. And that way I can see his Oh, he's just a moment above, so I will have to move him down a tiny bit more. Whoa. Come on, off he come. There we go. So we're going to pop this one back on here. Just down a bit more. So that he's not above that. That's it. Because we don't want him above the top of the card. So I'm going to pop that one there. And then this one on the same shelf, I think. Oh, I might put this one down here. Then I can put the tankards and the other bottles in between them all. So let's pop the tankard in between. And we can pop him on the shelf like I know that just trim that one. He's not very I didn't cut him out very well. It's a bit wonky that one. So there we go, we'll cut a little bit off of that. We'll pop our tankard here next to this one and we'll pop the other tankard on the next shelf down. Make sure I've got them on the right end. Well, no, that wouldn't help either, would it? Very clever person here today. We have. And I will pop this one on this shelf. We will then pop our last bottle in the middle, I think. Just here, with our glasses either side. So I need some of the small ones. Have I got any small ones here? Yes, I have. I'll put two together like so, on either side of these, like this. Pull the backs off of them. I've got no fingernails left. Had to cut them all off. Um, so we'll pop this one here. 
And the other one, uh, the one I can get the things off the back, on this side here. Oh, I like that. It's very, very manly, isn't it? What do you think? What do you reckon? Do you like it? I think it's gorgeous. I love the way it actually looks like a shelf there with all the can bottles and everything on it. I'm really happy with that. Really happy. So let's lay that down like that so you can actually see it. And I'll bring in the other one so you can see that one as well. And that's our card for this week. You will find the written tutorial for this on uh, my a Facebook group called Die Stand for Stamping, Crafting and Tutorials. You'll find the link down below for that. If you have enjoyed this project, please give me a thumbs up. Sorry about the little fiddly bits at the beginning um, with the sides and me forgetting to bring my um, eraser over. But that's our card for this week. And I do answer all comments, so I'd love you to leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And please subscribe so that you don't miss out on any other videos that I make. On And with the link below to my Facebook group, you can get all the written tutorials for all the cards. They are written in, in my tutorials are written in inches and centimetres. So it has both on there. And I will see you again next week. Bye for now.